hello, today I'm here with a new video and also a new series here on my channel because today I am starting my UVS Place week. So it's coming a video every day this week so I will have seven videos in a row and all of these seven videos this week will be with UVS Place palettes. So I have seven palettes and I'm going to do seven different things with my seven different UVS Place palettes. So this is my hair. This is the first like series like this I'm doing and my first... I think I have done seven videos on a week before when I had my channel in Swedish. I think I did a vlog week. Um, but yeah, this is my first makeup series here on my channel. Uh, that's going to be okay. Why do I even babble? I'm going to do a UVS Place week. So it will be seven weeks. Seven weeks. Seven days. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So today it's the first day of seven. And I am starting off this UVS Place week with a first impression. And I still have this one that I haven't tried. And it's the Saharan 2. And it looks like this. I really love the inside of this palette, like this. I really love the shades as well, but I really like this pattern and I like this purple palette. So this is a nine pan palette and this has only three matte shadows down here in the bottom. And then all the others are shimmers. And I haven't played with this yet. So I'm going to do that today. And I thought that this was a perfect start for my UVS Place week to do a first impression. And what will come following days this week, you will just have to wait and see. But I hope you will like this, that I am doing a week-long series on UVS Place. Okay, so it looks like this. I will start with... Will I start with? I think I would start with Tassa, this warm brown, and I will have this in my crease. And I really, really love Yves Place. Maybe you can understand that because I have seven palettes. But it is a really good brand and I feel that all the palettes are consistent. This as well. They have the same the same quality on all the palettes. As you see, super easy to blend. And I want this 2019, this will be the year, hopefully, where I use most of my things in my collection. Because I am doing a low buy year. So I thought this was a fun thing to do. And I have really tried to come up with different video ideas. So it doesn't be the same all the time. So I think you will like this week. Okay, so this worked so good. And now I want to do something. I really start to like doing this. And I will take Sora. Yes, I have a mirror from another palette. I need to get the handhold mirror because this is not... This is good. I will take this Sora and I will do something that I do a lot right now. I will take a pointer brush and do it in my crease as well. And even though this is a darker or colder shadow, I think this can work pretty good. I just don't want such a harsh line where my crease end and this is a really good 
trick to get past that. And this shade, I don't know if it's red, purple, it is red but it got a little of purple in it so it looks so good. And I don't know why I haven't tried this palette yet, I have had this for a couple of months, but... There have been so many other palettes, so this is like... I have not forgot about it, but... Maybe Lila I have, but... I don't really know. It not have been something that I have... Oh yeah, the Saharan 2 palette. I think it's maybe because I have my acrylic thing with my palettes. And I put... I wanted to have all the US Place palettes together. And other palettes I'm going to try to even see it. I don't see it in camera. What we have here palettes that I'm going to try or test out more new palettes. But this didn't fit and I want it along with my other Uva's place so I forgot about it a little bit. Okay, this shade so, so nice. And okay. I think I will take the Sora again. Put it on my outer corner of the lid. Maybe half of my lid. Really Pack it on out here. Okay, so something like that. And I also want to take this fess, <laughs> this dark brown, and deepen it down a little bit. Is it called deepening down? Because it can't be up. Because deep is down. And lighten it up should be up. Deepen it down. Okay, I don't know. But I just want to take it here on my outer corner and just darken it down, maybe I can say. A little bit. So something happening. So something like that. And now I will do something on my inner. I think I will use two of the shimmers. Shimmers. I don't know if I maybe want to take this blue one. So something is happening. First I was planning to take this one. But that, that feels like the obvious thing to do. So I will take this Berber. Berber, 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 Berber. And... Uh, have I used this? Have I used this? No. So I will take that blue and put it in here and I will try without any glitter glue at first because you just place the shimmers. Usually performs good without, and this do as well. I don't know how they do this because US Place that is not an expensive brand. It's a very inexpensive brand, so I don't know how they are able to do this. But I like it a lot. Can you even see what I am doing? I hope you can. And then I will take only a little bit of this reddish purple and take it up in my inner crease. 
just to blend it a little bit with the blue. And okay, I will do the other eye and I will take away the fallouts and fix the other way so they the other way, the other eye so they are up to speed. And then I will come back because it's no point for you to see me just sit here and do the same thing that I did on the other eye. So I will fix this eye, take away this fallout, and then we're going to do something in my inner corners and also on my lower lash line. So I will fix this and then I will come back. So I am back with the buys. So catch her in the palette. I'm going to do something to my under eyes. I think I want to take this Sora and then I think either I want to take this green one shimmer or this gold shimmer, I don't know, but we will start with Sora and I will take it underneath my eyes. And I love that I look like a fish or something when I do this. It's like this. I'm super concentrated. And the mouth is open. Okay, so something like that. And then I think okay, we need to swatch again. Turquoise or gold. I think gold. Feels like I mix like all the different undertones and everything is in this look. The worst thing about this week is going to have to pronounce all this name because you guys please you're making it hard. Okay. Okay, I will put on some mascara and I will take a pen on my waterline, shoes a lipstick and uh, I will be back. So mascara and lipstick is on and I took Alabama from NYX, it's a matte, matte lipstick and my lips are pretty sore and but yeah, this is pretty good. So. <laughs> This is my first impression of the Saharan 2 palette and I am impressed with this palette as usually when it comes to UVS and this feels, when you just look at it and if you like colorful makeup like I do and you just look at this palette it looks pretty boring and it's first when I have seen it I was, I have been like what should I do with that? It only get three mattes and then shimmers and it's not a fun palette. But then I have seen videos on it, people talk about it pretty much, even though it is a pretty boring palette. And I like it. I am glad that I bought it. And I think you can do fun things with this, even as a complement palette for other palettes or use it on its own like I did today. So I feel I got a good use of it. I used these three mattes and this one, amazing. These two were good too. And I used this one, super super nice. And also this one, super super nice to have in my inner corner. So I am glad that I bought this one. And I really hope that you will like this UVS Place week. And yeah. I hope you will like it. So this was the first of seven parts of this UVS Place week. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. And then we will take another palette, but I will not spoil anything. So you just have to wait until tomorrow what I will do then. So I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!